Hi, my name is uh, Benjamin Birk, and we are here today to show us a little bit about Danish uh, pastry. I'm the founder of uh, Birk's uh, Kitchen here in Aarhus in Denmark. Uh, my background is as a uh, teacher, um, both as a chef and a baker at uh, Meyer Smadhus in, in Copenhagen, uh, where I learned the whole uh, philosophy of, of working with, uh, with Nordic produce. When working with our traditional Danish pastry, we, we wanted take it in, in, in another direction where we want to make it, uh, we want to produce less, but we want to do higher quality. And we want to especially want to do higher quality in the ingredients that we use, but we also, of course, uh, want to use those ingredients, uh, use their potential to get the, the most flavor uh, and the best texture. So the first piece of pastry that we're gonna do is our cinnamon swirl. We're going to start out with the mixing all our wet ingredients. Uh, we're going to knead it until it's, uh, it's totally uniform and we have uh, developed the, the gluten. So now the dough has come together, we have uh, developed the gluten in the dough, we're gonna um, mix in the, the butter. Uh, we're using the Yala Pro butter, it has an ability to very easily get worked into the dough without um, separating the gluten in the dough. So now the dough has uh, come together and we have incorporated all of the butter in the dough, so now we're gonna put it in a box and we're gonna refrigerate it uh, overnight both to make the dough relax but also to to make uh, the sourdough do its work and develop a lot more flavor in our dough. Basically, it consists of uh, equal parts butter and sugar. Um, the Ala Pro butter is going to help during the baking because in, during baking, butter can have a tendency to run out of our of our um, of our baked goods, but not with this butter. So make sure it moves on the table. Just going to flatten it so it's even before we start using our rolling pin. You can also use, a, if you have a lamination machine for, for, your, for your pastry or for your croissants, you can just roll it out. Don't mind just using your hands to, to fit the dough. Make sure it moves on the table. Roll. When the dough has been in the fridge overnight, it also gives the gluten possibility to relax a little bit. So it's easier to stretch the dough. Let's add the remons. We're just going to spread it evenly all over the dough. And we always keep our remons at uh, room temperature. So it's uh, easy to work with it. it. It contains so much fat and sugar, it's not going to be a problem with the expiration on it. So don't worry about that. So now we're gonna add the cinnamon. If you're only doing cinnamon remons, you can just mix it in the remons. But since we're doing a lot of different kinds of remons down here, we tend to add the flavor afterwards. Now we're gonna flip the dough. Take it, just flip it halfway over. This is gonna help make the pattern. It's gonna make sense when we start cutting up our dough later. But right now we just need to shape it like this, fold this piece also to the middle. So now we're just going to roll it down a little bit so it's easier to work with when we get back to it. The dough has been sitting in the fridge for about an hour and we just turn it out. So I measured out the dough into 20 pieces.
but we take the strip, we roll it towards ourselves, so we get a nice twist on it. And then we go clockwise around our finger, so we have it like this. And lay it on the knot there. If you do it the wrong way, I can show you that. See, now I'm turning it the opposite direction, and then when I try to swirl it, the swirl comes out, and then we get this. So now we finished swirling the swirls. We are gonna put them on sheet, parchment paper, and then we're gonna put cling film on top, and we're gonna let them rise until they're double size. And we just ferment them warm, no cold fermentation on these, so we just keep them out at room temperature. So now the swirls have risen to double in size. And before we start doing anything with them, we just want to give them a little feel. Make sure that they're light and fluffy and airy. And then we take our cardamom sugar here. We have some, it's called uh, pearly sugar, so it's bigger sugar cr crystals. It's going to give it a lot of crunch when the guests they buy it into them. And then it's freshly ground cardamom mixed with it. And then we just put them in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 13 to 15 minutes. So now the 14 minutes have passed and uh, the swirls are done. We want them nice and caramelized, but we still want them like very gooey in the middle. When they come out, we brush them with this simple syrup, equal parts water and sugar. And then we have some cardamom pots and some uh, star anise. We just brush them while they're still warm so they can suck up all the syrup. We're gonna make them look shiny and they're gonna stay moist longer. So there you have it, our cinnamon swirls. A modern take on a traditional Danish piece of pastry. Mm -hmm.